Hey everybody, today Rado runs through Dungeon of Fortune, which is effectively a sequel to Dungeon Roll. You can see they've got the same um, you know, logo iconography stuff. But you could think of Dungeon of Fortune as the card game version of Dungeon Roll, which is all about, this is all about using dice to delve deeper and deeper into a dungeon. In this game, we're doing the same thing, but we're using cards. And I'm going to show you how it works today, so you can decide whether it might be something of interest to you. I've already got the game set up here as a two-player game. In this game, I will be the Orc Chieftain doing Dungeon Delves, and Jen will be the Ranger. She's got pointy ears, so I assume she's an elf. Now, the game actually comes with 12 different characters. You know, so we could have been the alchemist, the dwarf, the necromancer, the scout, the paladin, the enchantress, the guild leader, the bard, the knight, or the leprechaun. And you know, all these characters have different special powers, different upgraded special powers, and they, they all attract different companions, different adventuring companions. An alchemist travels with a thief, a wizard, and a cleric. Um, which, interestingly, is also the same group that this ranger travels with, a thief, a wizard, and a cleric. But my chieftain travels with two warriors and a cleric. And my chieftain's special power is whenever I stash treasure, which means whenever I run away from it, whenever I try to get out of a dungeon in one piece and I've walked away and I'm stashing my treasure, I also get to save any scrolls I found, which is awesome. Everybody else, you use the scrolls or you lose them. But the chieftain, he gets to hold on to them for later. Jen's power as a ranger, when she explores a room, if, she, um, if, if it has goblins where she's going to be, she can discard that card and draw again because she hears the goblins coming and maybe she wants to try her luck at getting a different card that won't be a problem for her. So those are our special powers. We each have special upgraded powers as well and we are ready to go. Now, I will be the first player, which it puts you at a slight disadvantage, a little bit of a disadvantage because one of the big things we are competing to do in this game is stay in the dungeon the longest. Um, it's kind of like a hold your breath competition. Whoever can stay in the longest, or, or basically, yeah, um, basically gets a double treasure bonus, which is a big deal because this game is over once all of these treasures have been collected, and then whoever has the most wins. Although all the treasures, you know, they might have one, two, or three coins on them, and I think there's, there's also, let's see if I can find one. Oh, come on, see if I can find one. There's also a set collection thing because some of these treasures are actually gems, and then you're, tr you're hoping to get multiples of the gems. So, you know, at the end of the game, you know, say, in a, in a two-player game, there's 40 of these treasures. Say, I got 20 of them and Jen got 20 of them. We won't really know who won until we actually tally up stuff at the end. So, you can never be quite sure. Even if it looks like somebody's way in the lead because they've got more treasures, you might still be able to catch up. But... For the most part, um, you know, if somebody does have twice as many treasures as you, they're going to win. So there's a lot of push your luck in this game, and that's one of the reasons you want to stay in the dungeon longer than everybody else, because you get that double bonus. But if you're the first up, that means you're the first in the dungeon, you're more than likely going to be the first one to get kicked out, which means um, people who move later get a bonus, or you know, they, they get a tacit bonus because they're more likely to stay in. But you never really know. But let's stop talking about all this dungeon delving and let's start doing it. I'm the first player. Let's see what I find in the first room. That's not bad, a treasure chest. Now, you can see there are five levels of dungeon. And we both start in a kind of a wimpy level one dungeon. But over the course of the game, I might be exploring a two, three, four, or even a level five dungeon. But I'm in a, in a beginner dungeon right now, which means I look at the top row. If I was in a level four dungeon, I'd have a goblin, a, uh, a skeleton, and a treasure to find. But here, I've just got a treasure chest. So... I have a choice. Do I want to open that treasure chest and get a treasure? Because if I do, um, well, you know, I'm one step closer to the main game because that's what this game is all about, collecting treasure. So, do, but to open that treasure chest, I would have to exhaust one of my two warriors or my cleric. And you know, as long as I keep them going, I have a better chance of making it you know, to, of going the distance and staying in the dungeon longer than everybody else. But here's the thing. I know I'm at a disadvantage. I know Jen is already more likely to be able to make it because I was the first player. So, passing on a chance to get a free treasure, I don't think I'm going to do it. I'm going to take one of my two warriors, and I'm going to move him down over here into the, uh, the treasure chest area. That means he is exhausted. I can't use him anymore for this delve, but I did get one treasure. Now, I don't look at it. I have no idea what it is. This will, no one will see what this is until the end of the game. But it's over here in my pouch. And if I make it out of this dungeon alive, it'll slide over here into my satchel, and it's a permanent part of my final scoring. But as long as it's here, I might lose it if I get kicked, if I run screaming from the dungeon because I get overpowered by creatures. But anyway, so that was the first room for me. Now it's Jen's first room, and she stumbles across two slimes 
and a treasure. That is a very nice start for her. Now remember, Gen Special Powers, if there was a goblin where she is, she could redraw. But there's goblins on level 3, but there's none here. So Jen can't use her power here. But she, that's okay, because now, um, like Dungeon Roll, you, any one of your characters can fight any one of these creatures. But if you've got a, uh, a companion who matches the color, in this case, Jen has a blue companion, Wizards can, a single wizard can beat multiple slimes. And that's what Jen's going to do. Jen is going to have her wizard fight these slimes. She flips it to indicate she's just earned an experience point, And that means Jen has taken out these two slimes. And for her trouble, she gets a treasure. It goes into her pouch. All right. So that was a pretty nice first room for her. She's pretty happy with those results. Now, um, back to me. I'm going to go into my second room, and I found a dragon. Now, the first dragon you find doesn't matter. The second dragon you find doesn't matter. When you find your third dragon, you've got to fight the dragon, which is very scary because you need either three um, characters to be able to beat the dragon or, in, in the case of a green dragon, you could beat him with two characters if one of them is a fighter. So, I, you, know, you never really know, but as it is, so basically I in the second room I found nothing. I heard whispers of a dragon or, you know, there's evidence of dragon activity. There's a dragon here, but he, I haven't stumbled across him yet. So that was my second room. Now Jen's second room. Oh, okay. So, she has the choice of whether to open a treasure chest or not. And now the question is, does Jen do it? Because then, I mean, she loses her second guy. Now, if she loses her second guy, suddenly I have a chance of outlasting her because then she only has one guy's used experience, one guy's exhaust from the treasure chest, and there's only one guy left. I've still got two guys, and that gives me the advantage to outlast her. So while she would like to get that treasure, I think she cares more about lasting longer in the dungeon so she can get two instead of one. So she is going to ignore that treasure chest and just pass it by. So now I move on to my next room. And, oh, bad news for Jen, I found a Pilfer card. Now that means I can pick any one character, or any one other player. Of course, in a two-player game, there's only one other player. That will be Jen, and I can take one of their treasures. So, this dungeon is working out very, very well for me. Let's see what Jen gets. She has to fight a single slime, which means she has to use another guy, unfortunately. Um, either, so I guess I'll go on ahead and use her Cleric. So now she's earned two experience, but she's running out of time. And I've still got two guys. Let's see what my next move is. A single chest. Well, I'm ahead of Jen, so I think I can afford to open that chest. I'll go on ahead and slide one over here. So that guy's exhausted. And I've just, now I've got three treasure. Oh, my goodness. And now it's Jen's turn. Now, she only has one companion left. If she, uh, and she's earned two experience points. If she draws a card and she cannot beat whatever monsters are on that card, she will have to get kicked out of the dungeon and she'll lose the experience points she's already earned. So, does she push her luck? Does she stay and face whatever it is? You know, if it's a treasure chest, great, she gets to open the treasure chest. If it's a, if it's a single monster, great, she beats a single monster and she, and she earns another experience point. If it's a goblin, she has the opportunity to run away from it. I think she is going to risk it. This game is all about pushing your luck, but specifically relative to everybody else, because being the last in the dungeon is crucial to winning. So, while it's very risky for Jen to do it, she's going to take a chance. She might lose two experience, but she does have, if, as long, if it's a goblin, she can run away from it. Um, let's see what she finds. A dragon. Okay, her first dragon, it doesn't matter. Phew, and she breathes a sigh of relief. That was a very dangerous, very tense for her. Okay, now it's my turn. Now the pressure is on me because both Jen and I have only one guy left. If I leave now, I will cash in all of these points, whatever they are. Um, whereas if I draw another card and I can't beat it, I'll lose all this treasure. And Jen, she had nerves of steel. She took the chance. She drew it. I could take the chance. I might my second dragon. I don't really care. But if if there's two, you know, oh, if Jen was brave, I'm going to be brave too. I'm going to push my luck. Let's see what it is. It's a single slime. Okay. Well, I got to fight it. So I just got one experience point. And now you better believe. Next round, I am going to beat feet out of this dungeon. Uh -huh, because I've got nobody else left to fight, so you know, or to fight with. So I mean, if, if I got, you know, it's very likely I'd get screwed. So I, I'd be insane to stay. I have no. I mean, my special power won't really help me. All my guys are gone. Jen knows this, so now the choice is hers. Does she draw another card? Because if she draws another card and survives it, 
then she knows I'm going to bail, and she will get the bonus points. And you know, she might draw a card, and she might get a pilfer card. She might get to draw a card and get her second um, dragon, which she's not worried about. She might draw a card and get a goblin, which means she gets to run away and try something else. She might draw a card and get a treasure chest. Or she might draw a card and get something she can't beat. In which case, she loses this experience. And um, these staircases on these cards mean progress. If Jen stops right now, she has three staircases. That means she can move. You can see you need two staircases to get to, to start going into level two dungeons where the treasures are better, but the dangers are greater too. All right, Jen's going to do it. Nerves of Steel, Moment of Truth. Let's see what she finds. Her second dragon. Oh, yeah. She gambled big and it paid off. All right, so now back over to me. Am I going to go again? No way. I don't want to lose all this stuff. I am going to bail. I am going to retreat. And the instant I said, or what's it called? It's not retreating. It's I'm going to stash my loot. That means I have left. And the instant I left, Jen immediately got two treasures, you know, just chosen randomly from the pile. And they didn't go into this temporary holding thing. They go immediately into her satchel. So, I mean, you know, so she's definitely got these locked in. So I've bailed. That means all of my stuff goes into my satchel. And this guy comes over here. So I have earned one experience point and three unknown treasures. And I'm out. And uh, now it is back to Jen. So she's already gotten her bonus. She's still got a guy. Does she push her luck even farther? She's got two dragons, though. If she draws another dragon now, she's, she's a dead woman. She won't be able to fight it off. She'll lose. Well, no, she won't lose this treasure because it's in her satchel, but she will lose the experience she's earned, and she will lose the staircases she found that lets her level up. But on the flip side, if she takes one more, and it's just a single monster, she could fight him and earn another experience point. How risk averse is Jen? You know, she has pushed her luck now a couple of times, and she successfully gotten the treasure. Oh, should she do it? Should she do it? Should she do it? Should she do it? What do you think, folks? What do you think? Oh. Well, remember, and she has, if it's a scary thing and it has goblins, all right, it's insane. She's going to push her luck even further, because even if she loses, she still at least got this treasure. Let's see what it is. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Oh. <gasps> Okay, that's bad. Two goblins, and she doesn't have a fighter. A single thief cannot beat two goblins. So this would be a dead end for her. But Jen heard the goblins because she is a ranger. So she dumps them. But now she has to draw again. She has no choice. Oh, I'm even more scared now. <laughs> it's a thief! Oh, yes! So, now this is interesting. A thief can always steal from pouches or from... So Jen is going to take something back. Boom. And um, and she, all right. And so me, I passed. I can't go. Jen can keep pushing her luck. She can go even deeper because she still got this guy. She's hoping she could get one more treasure. But you know what? She has pushed her luck way too far. She is going to stop. She is going to, she's going to cash in. So she earned two experience points. She got through. So at the end of it all, because Jen was super brave, she got three treasure, two experience. I only got two treasure, one experience. So Jen definitely came out on top. So now, also, I forgot to mention, when I, when I cashed out, you'll notice two of my cards had treasure or um, staircases, so that means I have leveled up. Now, I don't have to. It's optional. I could stay doing in level ones, but I'm going to be brave. I'm going to go on to level twos. Um, or should I? Because here's the thing. I have one experience point. As you can see, if I had two experience points, I could level up and increase the size of my party. So I'd be better suited to deal with level two. But I didn't get enough experience. So do I, level, do I go to deeper dungeons or not? Well, you know, if, if we were to just like take a quick look at what I, if I had been a level two, it would have been a treasure chest, a treasure chest, and a double treasure chest. So I'm going to take a chance. Since I have two um, staircases, I'm going to use them to level, I'm now going into level two dungeons. Even though I'm still only a level one party because I only have one experience point. So that all happened when I, I forgot to do that when I cashed my loot. Jen now, she's just now cashing her loot. She has two experience. Whenever you can, you must level up whether you want to or not. So Jen is going to level up. She spends this two experience. So her party composition has changed. Whereas before she had a thief, a wizard, and a cleric. Now she has a thief, a wizard, and a champion who is kind of a wild card character. All right, so she has gotten a much more, and she has a choice. I think, um, let's see, if she had four staircases, she could um, go to level three dungeons. But as is, she'll start going to level two dungeons as well, but with a stronger group. All right, so that was Jen's turn. Now, we are ready to start 
the second delve. And um, Jen's in the lead now, but anything could... Oh, right, and I need to reset my group, so uh, I need to get another fighter. Because I, this stays here, and you know this fighter stays here as a marked experience that I have earned until I can level up. So, we're ready to go to the second dungeon. Whoever gets the... The, the, the bravery bonus for staying in longer becomes the first player in the next level. So they suffer a disadvantage. They got an advantage of more treasure, but they suffer a disadvantage because they've got to go first. So Jen is now starting the second, um, her second delve. Right off the bat, she gets a pilfer, which means she steals another one of my treasures and goes into her pouch. Ouch. And so my first room, it, well, you know what? I'm just going to pilfer right back. Now I could pilfer from her pouch, but that's not, Jen might lose this. She might get chased out, so I'll pilfer from her, um, actual satchel. And so, that was that. Moving on. All right, so Jen's in the second level. She can open this chest or not. And again, she's got all these. Does she give up? Now, Jen knows she is less likely to be able to go the distance in this dungeon because she went first. But if she skips that treasure chest, it gives her a chance of staying in longer, but it makes her lose a shot at getting a treasure. So, but I think Jen is going to take it. She's going to exhaust her wizard to get another treasure. And then it's my turn, and... I've got a single slime I've got to beat. Not too bad. Um, I'm kind of bummed by that. But hey, you know what? I earned an experience point at least. So now I'll be able to level up in the future. And I had to do it. All right, so Jen's turn. And double treasure chest. Beautiful. Because whenever you have multiples of the same color, if you have the same color companion, one companion can do multiples. In this case, Jen's one thief opens two chests. Boom, boom. Jen has made a lot of money, but... She only has one character left in her party. And back over to me, I, I also open two chests. But unfortunately, I don't have a thief. So I would have to use both my guys to open both of those chests. Hmm. And you know what? I'm not going to open either of them because that means I keep two guys here. So I, even, I further up my chances. Because, you know, if I, if I stay in the longest, I'll get two. Well, no, if I could use one and open one of the two chests so I could get a treasure. And then I'm still ahead of Jen because she has to bail before me. But Jen has a champion. A champion can, is a wild card. You can treat a champion as a thief, as a warrior, as a cleric, as a um, mage. So if I'm down to one and Jen's down to one, but she's got a champion, she has a better chance of outlasting me. So I'm going to pass on both of those treasures so that I can get the end game bonus treasure. So, I, all right. So Jen moves again. She goes deeper. Ooh. She needs two individual heroes, and she only has one. But remember, her power, since she heard the goblin, Jen, Jen cannot beat this. She needs two heroes. She only has one. But she could scout ahead. She heard the goblin, so she's just going to dump that and draw something else. Two more treasure chests. Booyah! So, I think what Jen's going to do, she could pass on that treasure, but since this champion can be treated as a thief, he'll, she'll put it down here, and Jen just found two more treasures. Well, that was a lot of treasure. And I think Jen is going to bail next turn. So that means I know uh, this dungeon is mine for the keeping. But let's see what else I find. My first dragon. All right. Not too worried about that. And now Jen's turn again. And she is not going to stay because she has nobody. She is going to um, stash her loot. So all of this money gets locked in. So Jen has definitely taken the lead early in the treasure. And... One um, staircase means she cannot upgrade to level three dungeons, and she had no experience because all she did was um, find a lot of treasure and open it, so she can't level up at all. So that's it for Jen. Back to me. Now, I've still got two guys. I'm good to go. Let's see how far I can push it. Okay, a single skeleton. So I will beat that with my um, cleric. Jen is passed. Let's keep going some more. I've still got one more guy. I'm feeling pretty lucky. And I can thieve from Jen. Hooray. So I'll just go on ahead and take that. Thank you very much. And now, do I keep going? I've got one guy left. I can't believe I haven't found any scrolls yet. Scrolls are super important. Some of the cards, instead of having staircases on them, have scrolls on them. And if you have a scroll, that's kind of like Jen's power. You draw a card, you don't like what it is, you can discard one of the scroll cards you previously encountered, and then redraw a different card. So, the more scroll, and that's why it's so great for the Chieftain to store scrolls, so that he has a lot of get-out-of-jail opportunities. But so far, we haven't found any scrolls. This is insane. And you know what? I could push further, but... Right, Jen passes again. She's already passed. She's out. Um, do I go again? I've got three experience, which means I'm going to be able to level up. And I've got two. So, I, you know, I'm going I'm I'm to get out while the getting is good. I don't want to take a chance. So I will um, evacuate. 
I've got two staircases, that means I can move to level threes, and I've got three experience, so I spend two of them to get here, but I've still got one, and now, so my team has leveled up, I now have two, or a, a warrior, two warriors, a uh, cleric, and a thing. So, that's it. And I'm, oh, I'm not even going to look at what it should have been. But anyway, so that's it. I got no scroll, so I can't, I'm still, that's twice. Two dungeon delves, I haven't found a single scroll, that's crazy. But anyway, also, because I was in the dungeon longer when Jen beat feet, I totally forgot, I immediately locked in two treasures of my own. So you can see, we both kind of caught up. And in fact, actually, while Jen's got a little bit more treasure than me, I've got more experience than her, and I'm in level 3 dungeons to her level 2. So, it's anybody's game at this point in Dungeon of Fortune. And I think I'm going to stop right there, but if you'd like, um, you can go hit the eye up in the top right corner and go to the extended playthrough, and I'll play through a few more dungeons. You can see some more stuff. Maybe, I mean, I haven't fought a dragon yet, so you might want to see some of that, and um, uh, you know, it'd be great to actually level all the way up to get us to unlock our superpowers. So, anyway, hit the eye up in the top right corner of the screen to Go to extended playthrough or final thoughts, your choice in five, four, three, two, one.